Hi, when I grow up, I want to be John Landis, and I want to be on Trailers from Hell. Today we're going to look at an old movie called International House, which stars W.C. Fields, Bella Lugosi, and Cab Calloway. Well, I mean, you know, what can I say? It's interesting, it's a picture made in the early 30s about television, which gives us a way of looking at essentially vaudeville acts, including Cab Calloway doing the immortal reefer man. The Grand Hotel of Comedy International House from Paramount Pictures, 1932. This is before the Hayes Code, so there's not one but a thousand laughs brought to you by stars of the screen and stage and radio. Um, this is a weird, this is like, oh, stars of the boudoir. That would be Peggy Hopkins Joyce, who, like Paris Hilton, is famous for having sex. And that's it. She had no real talent, but she was quite a celebrity because she slept with everybody. W.C. Fields, Rudy Valleys, these are big stars, very young Burns and Allen. Um, what's interesting about this picture, I never heard of her again, but anyway, Colonel Stupnagel and Bud, Cab Calloway and Bela Lugosi. Hey, baby Rosemarie, remember her from the Dick Van Dyke Show? Franklin Panborn, Hollywood sissy, and the girls in cellophane. Now, how can you not go see this movie? By the way, not Busby Berkeley, but see-through clothes going through their legs, very subtle. Uh, this is the famous movie where Peggy Hopkins, Joyce, and W.C. Fields arrive in a helicopter, and uh, she's sitting on something, and when she gets up, it's kittens, and W.C. Fields says, ah, pussy. It's quite outrageous. Cab Calloway performs Reefer Man, a song about marijuana. Oh, there's Peggy and uh, Bill. There's Cab and the band. This is about television. The premise is a man has invented television, and all these people come to this hotel to try to buy it. And because it's television, oh, look, your, your shorts. Stu is embarrassed. Um, because of television, they basically do a version of the Ed Sullivan Show. Now here, Bill Fields looks through the thing and he says, what will they think of next? This is not subtle. This is uh, very risque. Oh, there are those girls again. It's very interesting, but in Hollywood, oh, there you go, cellophane. In Hollywood at that time, there was a plethora of uh, Corrines um, with blonde wigs who looked Chinese. Peggy Hopkins, Joyce with dangerous shoulders, W.C. Fields, genius, Rudy Valley, underrated, big star. Rudy was really the first of the teenage crazes. He, uh, you know, he was bigger than Sinatra and the Beatles. Cab Calloway, man, he was nice. Bela Lugosi, Baby Rosemary. You know what's depressing? I've worked with three of these people. The Laugh Epic of the Century. This is a funny movie. Check it out.